you have a specific test the Prophet mentioned on the Day of Judgment. Yeah. Because Allah is just. How could Allah throw someone in hellfire when he's like, I never heard about Islam? Yeah. So the thing is here that Allah is just. Allah will give you every opportunity to believe in it. But if you systematically reject that all the time, then how are you? How is Allah unjust by throwing you hellfire forever? Because Allah says, if He sent you to the earth, you do the same thing over again. So you know, for example, with murderers, serial murderers, because the government knows or the legal system knows that person might go out and kill again, they don't give them parole because they know. We let them out once, he went and killed again. Why? Because they know he's, even if he's sent back, he'll do the same thing again. So because Allah knows Did that... Did he get sent back? No, no, no. Allah says in the Quran, it's very interesting. Allah says in the Quran, if we was to send the disbelievers who were to, they're doomed to hellfire, if we was to send them back to earth, and they say to Allah, oh Allah, give us a chance, we'll change. Allah says no. If we was to send them back, they would do the same thing again. But then he... Like Allah will not send them back. No, no, no. That but, doesn't happen. No, no, no. But what Allah is saying is, if I was to, yeah. Allah is saying, if I did, let's suppose Allah said, no problem, go to earth. Allah is saying that if you send them to earth for a million years, they'll commit shirk a million years. A billion years, they'll commit shirk a billion years. The point Allah is trying to make is that they would never change. But because they're in the fire, they're in regret. Like if I, we catch Hitler, Hitler will say, I'm so sorry. I, I'm terribly wrong. Give me another chance. He'll go and do it again. So because Allah knows that, He says the punishment for you is eternal hellfire because if you lived eternally, you would commit that crime eternally. And also, I don't know if that makes sense. Also, explain to sister why is shirk worse than killing? Uh, yes. I don't know, I did, but is there something that I missed? Yeah, just explain to you. Like, did you say? Or did, did you understand when he meant, when he was saying, sorry for interrupting, no, no, when he was saying to you that shirk is worse than killing, do you, do you understand that? I accept you. You can't fathom. I don't understand, to be honest, I accept. How can you truly yeah. understand shirk? Yeah. It's, it's, it's very hard. But yeah. the, the, I gave the example of um, one, imagine someone took my one pee and I forgave them yeah. and somebody's child was murdered yeah. and they and I said to them, why don't you forgive them? I forgave you one pee. Yeah. It's not the same, the child has been killed. So the, the, thing, the element here is that we don't fully understand shirk and because we don't understand it, to us it's like, oh man, come on, why hellfire forever? It's because we don't fathom it. So you only go... You're only sent to hell for sure. Look, check this out. Look how merciful Allah is, sister. Yeah? Allah is saying to you, look, there is all kinds of meat that you can eat. Stay away from pork. There's all kinds of juice, orange juice, apple juice, grape juice. Stay away from alcohol. You have 24 hours a day, pray five minutes, five times a day. You have a whole seven days, go Juma once. You have a, a, a whole year, 11 months, first one month. You go your entire life, try to go Hajj once. The point I'm trying to say is that Allah has given so many options and Allah says the only sin Look, you're going to commit murder, Allah will forgive you You're going to commit even shirk If you committed it and repent, Allah forgives you Only if you die committed shirk Only one sin that Allah will never forgive Isn't that merciful? That Allah is saying you commit so many sins You are ungrateful and I will forgive you But only shirk I thought it was like there's like a tally of your life yeah. And then they're like the angels are like, this yeah, one's good, this one's bad. Yeah, you have and good then, and bad deeds. And then you, they balance and it's like, oh, you're bad. Okay, no, this is how it works. <laughs> Check this out, yeah? Let me tell you something, yeah? This is something that we can all learn together, yeah? We enter paradise. Okay, when Allah talks about hellfire and paradise, when Allah talks about hellfire, it says what the disbelievers earned. The word is earned. Mm -hmm. They earned it. When Allah talks about paradise, Allah doesn't mention earned. Allah talks about it in a way where it's gifted to you. So meaning there is nothing that we can human beings do to earn paradise. It's by Allah's mercy. And how do we know that? There's a hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, he says, a man came on the day of judgment, a very righteous man who lived a very long time. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I think he went somewhere else. I'm so sorry about that. Thank God you got your mask on, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I haven't got the virus, but you know, you're blind. You never know. A man came, <laughs> a man came to the Prophet. And he said, oh, I mean, to, to Allah, he said, oh Allah, I want to enter paradise by my good deeds. Allah said, okay, let's get the, you know the, the, the mizan? Um, the scale. Urge, 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 urge. So, she's talking to her. First time I'm, I'm speaking to a uh, Turkish sister. Okay, so he put all his good deeds on one side and he took his eye and put it on the other side. The angels did that. The angels did that. The eye outweighed all the good deeds of them. Meaning, the blessing of the eye, you can never repay all your good deeds that you did for 100 years. That's the point. 
So Allah said to the man, based on my justice, go to hellfire. Because what did he say? He said, oh Allah, I want to enter paradise with my good deeds. Allah is showing here, your good deeds mean nothing in the sight of the blessing of your eye. So Allah said, go to hellfire. He said, oh Allah, please, let me enter paradise by your mercy. So the lesson we learn from the sister is that we, in reality, we do good deeds because of who Allah is. But eventually our destination to paradise is by Allah's mercy, not our good deeds. The good deeds, we do it regardless because of how great Allah is. So, there's another hadith when you said, for example, there might be some people on the day of judgment, their bad deeds outweigh the good deeds. But Allah might forgive them. How? Because there is a hadith of two people. And Allah says to both of them, go hellfire. One of them runs to the hellfire, literally runs. The other one walks in disappointment. And Allah knows, but Allah calls them both back. He says, you, when you was going, why was you going so sloppy and looking back? He said, oh Allah, I knew you to be the Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. And, and I was looking for your mercy. He said, okay. He said to the second one, I said to you, go hellfire. Why did you run? He said, oh Allah, I never obeyed you on earth. You asked me to do one thing once, I said, let me do it without questioning. Allah said, both of you enter paradise. The point here is this, is, <laughs> no, it's, it's amazing. Because people make it seem as if Allah I would have been like, is like a monster who's looking to put people in hellfire. Allah doesn't want fire for you. And that's why Allah will be angry on the day of judgment that the disbelievers chose hellfire over Jannah. That answers your question. And also, if I may add, like the people who are usually described going to hell are despicable human beings. Yes. They're arrogant, they're oppressive, and they're very violent, and they're very like they mock people. Yeah, very and evil. They belittle people, they don't give, and they're stingy. Okay. And they're, yeah, Allah so says that. Allah it's says not very like so that people like blah blah. How can they go to hell? Like the people who go to hell are the worst of worst. They deserve they're very extreme. But deserve doesn't make sense to me. Huh? Deserve. This deserve idea. It doesn't yeah. make sense to me because. Yeah. Let's say. What they ah. earned. Not deserved. What they earned. They earned it, but so what? Uh, like. So yeah. meaning, there's no injustice. Check this out. Allah says in the Quran that the people of the hellfire, none of them are going to say, Oh Allah, you oppressed us. Check this out. They never complain to Allah. They don't say, Oh Allah, why did you do this to us? You know what they say? Oh Allah, give us one more chance. So the thing here is that they know they earned it. They're not complaining. They're not saying, Oh Allah, why did you oppress us? What they're saying, yeah, sorry, what they're saying is, Oh Allah, give us another chance. Allah saying, No, it's closed. So they know they earned it, they're not complaining. Otherwise, Allah will be unjust. If Allah is just, how could he throw any creation to the fire unfairly? Because the point I was trying to make, adding onto this, is that when I was describing these human beings, they're very extreme human beings. Yes. They're not human beings you meet every yeah, day. Yeah. You know, they're not like your... Like stole, and, uh, no, these are very extreme human beings who exhibit like these very, very... Arrogant. arrogant like and the way they view you and the, the rest of the world so you know? they're sociopaths they have something wrong yeah. with their brain no 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 but i want to say there's something wrong with their brain no 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 not something wrong with their brain they are people imagine this a sociopath is excusing islam because one of the people that are going to be tested on the day of judgment is a person who hasn't reached the age of puberty a person who hasn't heard of islam we talked about people who haven't heard of islam and an insane person allah can't throw these people in hellfire they're insane but they'll be tested. But what excuse do you give to someone who does the same behavior with a sound mind or the same with a psychopath? I don't believe that there's anyone there is. who does that. Abu Jahad, Abu Lahab, they knew, look, they knew the Prophet. You know they trusted their gold with the know. Prophet. Sister, you know the Prophet Muhammad, yeah? They trusted the Prophet. They knew the Prophet was truthful. They said, you are a truthful person. The, check this out. The Prophet said to them, if I told you, he spoke to the Quraysh. He said, if I told you behind this mountain is an army coming to destroy us, would you believe me? They said, we know you to be the truthful. Of course we believe you. He said, I'm telling you I'm the messenger of God. They said, no, we reject you. Look at the contradiction. We know you to be the truthful, you never lie. If an army is coming, of course we we'll believe you. Okay, the prophet saying, I'm telling you, I'm the messenger of God, we reject you. Or, or even it's, that. It's madness. Or even that. What about all the soldiers who say, well, I just followed, I just followed orders. What about uh, those uh, people who, yeah. who enslaved human beings? Yeah. Are they all psychopaths? No. Well, kill, yeah, kill they people. are. Human. I know it's very... They're, they're what? human and they've no, they something evil. terrible. No, but that's the point. There is people who are saying that do terrible stuff. I've never seen. 
What about all these? Is Hitler, uh, was, Hitler, was Hitler so social? What kind of person does that? Can you? Like, there are some things in life yeah. that I could never do. I, I could never go there, right? I could never. No, no, but you know what you do, That's, sister? Something is what, wrong. No, no, but you know why, sister? What about those people who. I mean, he's very bad. He should be punished. I, so, but that's me being. No, but you know why you're doing it? You know, you're, so, you, you're so pure in your heart that you think everyone's like you. No. Yes, yes, sister. For no, but, you to say that you have sorry, to be a so. But no, but the point I'm trying to make, I'm trying to give you examples of people and then yeah. we say, how far can you stretch this? With so, far. so, what about all the Victorian uh, chimney owners who was like putting children into work where they're all psychopaths as well? But, like, no, I agree. There are some people who are not psychopaths, yeah. yes. but there's something wrong. <laughs> no, there's like, something wrong. They're wrong with people. They have evil. trauma. They have no, issues no, in their no. life that they are doing. There's like, no excuse. Look at the person. Okay, we can take these examples, but look at the person in your life who's wrong you the most. But sister, Why do they do that? Let's try to be empathetic. No, no, no. I know. Fine. No, I know, sister. And God will find. But there are no people who have gone through a lot of things in their life that don't go and commit atrocities. Of course, we That's all not react an excuse. Exactly. So yeah. they can't use that as an excuse. I went through a lot hard. I know people who went through hardship and turn it into positivity. We can't say A, B, C, D happened in my life, therefore I'm going to go and kill seven people. But to we say can, that, but, but to, 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 to play devil's advocate, there is a case for that as well. Allah SWT is going to look at everything. Yeah. Everything will be accounted. It's yes, not going to be... So if there was a kid who was a yes. child soldier, yeah. grows up to be a warlord, yeah. that will be accounted. No, no, right? so then, but of course. That will be accounted for sure. Yes. Yes. I'm not going to be but, but then, if there's... If Allah saying... Yeah. You're going to go to the hellfire. You're going to go to the hellfire. Which is, when I read the Quran, I don't know a lot. Yeah. But when I read it, I see... That's what I see. It's a lot. And so, either in my mind, I have to say, there's going to be maybe a, couple, a handful of people who do go. <laughs> and then, that's a bit strange, because Allah is saying, this person, this person, this everyone, you know. No, no, there's a lot, there's no, a lot no, of mentions. No, but, you, no, no, but, no, but those everyone, mentions, if you if we read closely of these mentions, yeah, really. Because what happens, and I was talking to a brother early on, you know what happens when you see hellfire? It, it's as, as if it's addressing us or people we know. No, you have to really carefully yeah. read about the description of these human beings. Yeah. And I'm telling you, you don't meet these people every single day. Yeah. So not... how many people? Huh? No, they might be. Look, there was. Why is there, there was... so much mention? If there's like so. No, many... no. Why? Because firstly, to deter the believers. Yeah. Number one, yeah. to make the believers more firm in their religion and be scared of it and seek refuge yeah. from it. If we didn't have hellfire, what are we scared of? The thing is, number one, it's there to deter us. Number two, is to give us reminder for the way Allah tells you about the characteristics of those who fall. Allah says, have you seen the one who denies the day of judgment? He doesn't feed the uh, needy and he pushes away the orphan. Yeah. What's Allah saying? The one who denies the day of judgment. So the one who knows is not accountable is the one who doesn't feed the needy. And he pushes away the orphan. So Allah is saying, these are one of the characteristics of the people of the hellfire. Have you seen the one who, for example, uh, argument say, burying their children alive, argument say. Commit this as trust. So Allah's telling you, okay, awful. I need to look after awful. Needy. I need to feed the needy. Yeah? So the thing is here, sister, uh, that's, there's many wisdoms behind it. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving these examples to us, is to remind us and tell you, do not be like other nations. Why did Allah keep talking about uh, the nations that he destroyed? Why were they destroyed? The message came to them. And they, and they went against it, and against it again, and we sent messages again. So Allah's telling you, learn lessons from other nations, to not repeat what they did. Because that's the recipe for disaster. Allah saying, here's a recipe for success. And there's many verses about Jannah. Allah talks about many times, Jannah, eternal garden, what you're going to have, paradise, and no eye has seen, no ear has heard. Which one more? Allah, well, Allah talks about, I think Allah, uh, if I'm like, not mistaken, there's ma words. many, I think there are double the verses of Hellfire to Jannah. I'm very sure. Double uh, uh, hellfire double to gender. Yes. Like for example, if there's 100 verses of hellfire, there's 300 verses of gender. Really? Yes, I'm very sure. I'll check for you. So I'm double gender to hellfire. Yes, Allah talks about the good news as well. Yeah, and hellfire is not I always hellfire. Seen, and I wanted to read about seen. this right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know when we, we so we were talking about the description of those who uh, of those who walk of those who walk um, the description of people of hellfire, right? Now let me tell you of the description of people who God loves and says these are my servants, right? So 25, sorry, Just give me a sex sister. So it's 25, 63. 
Yeah, so I'm trying to... Go ahead, you see at the top. Yeah. Uh, 25 here, look. 20 chapters. So, uh, go to 25. 21. 26. And then go to 63. 63, yeah? Okay, here. I find this very interesting, okay? And so that's sort of like the flip side of... Okay, if we know, like, we describe the people, hellfire, people who lie, people who cheat, people who are envious, people who um, usurp the wealth of the orphans, people who cause wars and say, well, we just want peace, yeah. but they really... Look, the thing, so what's happening in Afghanistan right now, yeah. what's going to happen to those people who are sending the soldiers? They're like, oh, we, we're here to help all the women, we want to educate them. Half a million people. But then they kill half a million people, steal all the wealth and leave. What's going to happen to those people? And that's, that's yeah, many they, of them. If they many go away, how is it going to be justice? Imagine okay. they go away. So this is what they're Allah... going to help. All those yeah. people. All those no, people. no. These are those people. The, the army, the people who went there and killed half a million people. The ones that did the killing. How would a just... How would a... Okay. Good God do that? No, no. Do what? One second. Sister, imagine your child got killed. I mean, I would. I would want forever, but... No, no. One second. One second. I agree. No, sister. Check this out. Okay. For your own child, you want it forever. What about the child of the Afghan woman? I, I want it forever. Okay, but, I then, want. but but why is that unjust then? If Allah is going to punish the person who killed the, the child what of the Afghan... Punishment for what? Punishment for killing for the killing the Afghan... Yeah, but for what purpose? What end goal, right? Well, sister, if I say would the I end want justify the means? If, How if, does if that I, have to do with this? No, because if I say I went to America, I went to Afghanistan to liberate the Muslim woman yeah. and I had to kill a couple of children, but you know... No, it's wrong. I well, agree it's saying, wrong. Yeah. I'm not saying what's happening there is right, yeah. it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, if I have a child, mm -hmm. okay, this child is misbehaving, yeah. I will teach this child the right way. Yeah. But hell is forever. Mm -hmm. That's much bigger than any punishment. No, but that's, but that's shirk, if they die on shirk. So these, but you just said those people. No, I said there are people. No, no, go. some, some oh, Muslims are going to go hellfire. There will no, be Muslims who will, no, no, there's oh, Muslims right. will go hellfire. They will, if they have committed atrocities, they will do their time in hellfire, but they will eventually go paradise. But those who die on shirk, there's no paradise. So they're punished until they yes. decide, I'm sorry. Yes, if there's a Muslim who killed 35 people innocently, and these are the rights of people. He might have good deeds in Salah, but Allah will say you're going to pay for the punishment of the 35 people. He might go to hellfire for 20 years, 10 years, but eventually he'll go paradise, but he will have to do his time, that's Allah's justice. But there are also verses which says, if you've been killed another believer, then... No, no, that's, that's abrogated, because, okay. uh, with the, because the ones who used to kill believers, there's no forgiveness, but there's another verse abrogated. I don't think it, that's it, the Quran anyway. can be abrogated. Huh? I don't think the Quran can no, be abrogated. No, 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 but I, by Allah says sometimes we send verses, for example, that we bring a better verse than the one before, meaning alcohol, you know alcohol? Yeah. No, one second, sister. Alcohol was an outright band. It was a specific process. Why? Allah said, Allah, yeah, alcohol was allowed. Then Allah said, do not come to Salah drunk. Then, later on, alcohol was totally prohibited. It was a gradual process. The end verse abrogates the two verses. You, but basically... Well, why, no, why, no, why, no, why, no, why, no, why, no, But there's a different conversation we Yeah, it's a different here. conversation. But the point I'm trying to make is, I was describing people who, people, things they do, and then, like, evil people, right? Now, I want to read about, like, more, something more positive. Um, so here, this is uh, in Surah Al-Fatan, uh, verse 63. Um, upon the earth, um, they walk easily. Um, so, he's, so these verses are about the slaves of Allah, or the servants of Allah, right? And it gives you a good criterion on what, what they do. Sorry, apologies. Okay. Um, and it is he who has made the night and day in succession, and whoever desires to remember or desires gratitude, and the servants of the most merciful are those who walk up on the earth humbly. I've read this. Well, that's, well, that's yeah. And when ignorant addresses them, harshly they say words of peace. Uh, and those who spend part of the night to the Lord prostrating, standing in prayer. And those who say, Our oh Lord, avert us from the punishment of hell. Indeed, its punishment is ever adhering. Indeed, it is evil as a settlement and residence. And there are those who, when they spend, they do not do excessively nor sparingly, but are ever between that, justly moderate. And those who do not invoke with Allah another deity or kill the soul which Allah has forbidden to be killed except by right. And, and do not commit unlawful sexual intercourse. And whoever should do that, they will meet penalty multiplied for him. It is punishment of the day of resurrection and it will be abiding humiliated. Except for those 
who repent, believe, and do righteous work. For them, Allah will replace their evil deeds with good. And ever is Allah forgiving and merciful. And he who repents and does righteousness does indeed turn to Allah with accepted repentance. And there are those who do not testify to falsehood. And when they pass near ill speech, they pass by with dignity. And those who, when reminded of the verse of the Lord, do not fall upon death and blind. And those who say, Our Lord, grant us from among our wives and our offspring comfort to our eyes and make us leader uh, for the righteous. And then it continues like that. But it gives a very beautiful criteria and it gives you the plus and minus, the, the dark and the light, you know, the evil and the good. And it's for us to. What I find very interesting, it says like those who ask Allah to be uh, protected from hellfire. So this is very, this, this, is, this, this, this verse is, humili um, is encouraging hum humility in me. Because even though, you know, I might follow this, I should still ask for like, because it's a tremendous day, you know, uh, the day of judgment. So I ask to be protected and, 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 and I, I run towards God through the protection of my own self. I hear you, yes. I read this recently. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, I just wanted to repeat it again because I think it's a very okay. beautiful verse. I hope you answered your question. Um, Thank you, I'll, yes. give, I'll give you my YouTube name if you want. Okay. Um, is it the other phone? Or I'll just give it, the video yeah, might be up here. Sorry, I hope I didn't overdo it. Oh, it's just getting dark, so sure. yeah, no, 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 no. sure, sure, sure. You need to go as well, trust me. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Inshallah, till next time. Assalamu alaikum. It's A-L-I. Okay. Let's wrap up. Thank you, each of you. Uh, 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 u